Good morning, children. Praise the Lord. We meet again today. Stay happy and healthy in this new day. Before we start our activities, let us start the day with a meditation with God's word this morning. And today, let's continue our adventure to know God's creation from God's amazing creation book. And today, we will learn God's words from the stuffed owl. Before we proceed, shall we start with a prayer? Thank you, Lord, for the new day. Now we are ready to listen to your words. May your Holy Spirit be within us to bless us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our memory verse for today is from Isaiah chapter 41 verse 29. It says, See, they are all false. Their deeds amount to nothing. Their image are but wind and confusion. Children, what kinds of birds are in your yard and around your town? Have you seen robins and sparrows? Maybe you've seen a downy woodpecker in its tweed jacket or even a hummingbird. Millions of people like bird watching. For some, it's just fun to see cardinals and chickadees at their bird feeders. But others take it very seriously. Either way, it can be exciting. One of the best times for seeing lots of birds is when they migrate, making their way either north or south, it's spring and fall. The birds are driven by the need to find a comfortable climate, and during migration, you can see thousands of birds flying in formation. They are using their internal mapping system, flying on invisible sky roads that they find and navigate. John was taking a walk during the time that hogs migrate when he spotted a great horned owl perch at the top of a tall pole. He stopped for a closer look and discovered that this was only a stuffed bird. His friend had put it there to fool the hawks, hoping they'd fly in for a closer look as they went south. John waited to see if any would come. Soon he heard a loud whistling sound and saw a beautiful red shouldered hog swoop at the stuffed owl. The next flying visitor was a little sharp shinned hog that made a couple of passes at the much larger bird on the pole. Then a cooper's hog with talons extended swooped directly at the owl. When it didn't even blink, the hog whirled quickly and settled on a tree to stare at the stuffed bird before taking off again. That fake bird confused the hogs for a moment or two at that kind of funny, but it's not funny for people to be fake, even kids can be fake, you know? Children, can you think of ways that can happen? Being fake is not only boring, it's not fair to your friends 
and families. It's better to be the real thing, so that people will see Jesus in you. This is the end of our morning worship. Learn from God's word this morning. Let's not be a fake person, because fakeness is just a boring thing, and certainly not fair to our friends. Our brothers and sisters. Therefore, it would be nice to be a genuine person who is really good, who is really responsible, so that others can see Jesus in you. May the Lord bless and protect all of the children on this wonderful day. Amen. Good what God had done.